live on 99media.org from Shadowgate, Quebec, where there is a rally in opposition of the BSL, Breed Specific Legislation. And they're going to be delivering a petition at the 7 o'clock City Council meeting. Over here, the cops are wearing cowboy hats. Of course, as I say, Shadegay is not the only city. So Shadegay is not the only city which has uh, such a bylaw. Uh, 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 but uh, we also think that uh, we have to respect the bylaw about uh, the animals in Shadegay. And that uh, we have to responsibilize more the owners. Uh, and toward the other citizens. Uh, we're, we're going to see that and we're going to, uh, as I say, repress the bylaw and, and, and very act as a, well, how, how we should act in uh, 2015. It's an old bylaw that, you know, it happened uh, more than 20 years ago when uh, we thought of that people think about uh, many times there was an uh, incident. Uh, so, um, Right now we're going to move forward, and tonight uh, at the city meeting we have we start the process to change the bylaw with David Mosion, and then the process will go, uh, will go further, and then we'll have a new bylaw which will responsible the the, the owner of the dogs more than um, the animals. So, uh, so the process begins this evening. Then we're going to see it. Yeah. It's not going to be wiped off the books this evening. No, it's, it's starting. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it is the process, the legal process to change the bylaw also. So we have. To to pass through all the process. Was this something that you thought it was time to do, or did this only come up because of? No, it started. We, we started to talk about it uh, a year ago. Uh, but of course, we have so many things going on, and, and you know, uh, sometimes it needs a little bit more uh, things on the actuality to uh, force us to go further a little bit and, or a little faster. But we started to talk about it a year before because uh, pitbull is, a, is a one of the issues, but there's also uh, other issues about uh, pets uh, going on, uh, cats are also uh, things that we have to talk about because there's so many uh, cats that are led by uh, the owner and the nature and that caused also a problem to the citizens. So we, we have to be responsible, respons responsibilize the people for their, their animals and that's what we want to do uh, with the new bylaw that's going to adopt. And of course then, there's going to be some consultation, public consultation and everything to be sure that we are accurate and have uh, a bit of a present. Don't judge my pit bull, and I won't judge your kids. Definitely. I don't have any pit bulls. I have two white fluffy dogs. But, um... When I saw what had happened to uh, you, I, I was uh, thinking about that, the, um, that we had this kind of barbaric law here in Chattagay. And, and Chattagay is not the only place that has this law, in all fairness. And Mayor Simon did not put this law in place. So it's not, um, it's not, so we're not here gathered against Mayor Simon or the council. We're here to have the legislation change. It is a barbaric law, it's a prejudicial law, and the studies have shown that it's an ineffective law. So I, I'm, I'm really happy to be here on behalf of, of the Chattagay community. We have over uh, nearly 5,300 electronic signatures supporting our cause. The majority were from Montreal and Shadigan, a lot of, of course, a lot of people from Shadigan. And we do have a handwritten petition going on with the majority of, of uh, people from Shadigan and the surrounding areas. And I think we might hit 2,000. I think we might hit 2,000 people. So um, we're in, a, we've got a lot of support here. And um, I have spoken to the mayor. And she's, she's uh, confirmed to me that she's very open-minded. 
and uh, I think that we're going to have a very good outcome. So I appreciate everybody. Because it's it, it's not really against them either. They just they just uphold the laws that that we have in our town. And uh, in my in my experience, it's the same thing. Like one bad apple, it's the same thing with pit bulls and bad owners. One bad apple can ruin the bunch. And I've had great experiences with Shadagi police that have seen my dog for ten and a half years. They stop me. They look at the dog. They say, "Okay, cool," and then they talk to me about hockey. For for 10 minutes and then they drive away. I had recently on July 7th, I had one really bad experience where a dog, uh, a police officer also told me that he, wa he was willing to shoot my dog on site. And, you know, these kind of things have to stop. I've had my dog 10 years. I've lived at the same address for 10 years for the, ten, uh, for, the for longer than I've had the dog. Uh, and for the 10 and a half years that I've had Murphy, that you can all see on the signs here, uh, I never had a complaint from my neighbors or anything like that. And it was just this one police officer that saw me at a different arm and decided to use the full extent of the law against me. And uh, he gave me seven days. And uh, he said, at the end of seven days, I'm coming to search your house. If your dog is still there, I'm taking him out to be killed. And he told me that he was giving me a break by doing that because he could kill my dog right there. And... Uh, this stuff has to end. When you put that kind of power in somebody's hands, they need to be responsible with it. And like I said, one bad apple can ruin the bunch. This guy did that. And once again, I'd like to thank the police presence that are here for uh, protecting us today and every day of the year. By the way, that police officer, that police officer is not here today. So we can be nice to these guys. <laughs> I agree that most of the majority of the police um, are here to enforce the law, and, and they're not um, they're not going around threatening to kill people. But it does happen. Um, there have been several cases of people coming forward and, and showing me proof, including legal documents, where um, in some cases their dogs have been shot on site. Um, young dogs, uh, pepper spray, pepper um, you know. Shot on site, killed on site. Um, there has been cases. There have been cases of entry um, and removing of the dogs causing cardiac arrest. Um, but again, I think that that is the minority. 
but the fact is that this happens all over. It's not just Canada. It's not just Quebec. It's it's in the U.S. And if this, you know, I think it's, people are afraid. They, it's ignorance. Um, it's education that needs to be done. And uh, I think if we can all show charity as an example of responsible dog ownership, mostly these animals that are targeted as vicious are not vicious at all. They're 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 little pussycats, and um, they don't deserve to be punished. And neither do the owners that spend so much time socializing them. So we're gathered here to fight this, and um, I really do believe that what's important, what where we have to put the onus, what's on the other end of the leash, it is the owners. And people do some, you know, we do not advocate, and I don't think that this is prevalent here in Chatier, but in certain areas, we've got um, gangs um, using these dogs, abusing these dogs, uh, fighting these dogs, and this is why it gives these dogs a bad name. These dogs are no more, they, they are not vicious, and they are no more vicious than than what people look at as family-friendly dogs, proper spaniels, Shih Tzus. I mean, God knows my dog, he's got 17, but he could do some, some damage if he wanted to, if he doesn't like you. So, you know, this is this is a barbaric law, and I, I'm so impressed that we have this gathering, and we, in this, and we have all the signatures and, and the petition, and I think we also have the cooperation of the mayor and her council. So I really think that the next gathering that we're going to have is going to be a victory march. Uh, with all the, uh, if we want to say pit bulls, because pit bulls is, pit bull is not a breed, it's a mix of, of all kinds of different mutton type animals, uh, dogs, canine. Um, but I think we're going to have a victory march soon. Uh, yeah. So I think, uh, hey, it's, it's not set in stone yet, but I really do think that uh, the next meeting that we're going to have is going to be a nice march. Um, down uh, Anjou, and uh, everybody's going to be on leashes, and uh, everybody's going to be well behaved, and uh, it's going to be a success. So please don't go anywhere, because uh, we're still, uh, we are going to be going in a, a select group of us to present the petition and some uh, statistics, um, and it isn't set in stone. I'm hoping that I'll be able to come out and tell you. Uh, some really, really uh, positive news, and that soon we'll have something in writing. So, uh, until then, if anybody else wants to come up, uh, please, 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 please. Hi, my name's Dana. Some of you might know me uh, from yeah. Quebec Pitbull. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Honestly, I don't think I can talk much to what anyone said here, other than it's true, a dog is a dog, can the monster is on the yeah, tube. Yeah, I got to kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, the monster. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only monster is the two legged one on the end of the leash mistreating their dog. It's really responsible owners that count, and more cities need to implement responsible ownership laws, and this is when changes will come into effect. Um, if you look at Ontario, they have a province wide ban, and since they have their bike statistics, have risen like you would not believe because they're not addressing the problem. They're banning a breed, but they're not banning bad people from having the dog. So you've still got other dogs out there biting people. You've got unregistered dogs biting people, and it's not changing anything. So I applaud these people for their effort and everything because it's good. More people need to do this, more changes need to happen. This July, we had a walk for Pitbull, but a lot of people said to me, oh, are you worried there's going to be a dog fighter? It's going to be a bad press. No, because we told people, no reaction to dogs, be responsible. And we had over 50 dogs, and everything went great. We had lots of support from the public, people honking as they drove by, coming to pet the dogs. There was no problem. Why? Because we're responsible people. This is what it takes. It's responsible ownership. That's it. Thanks. There's also a lot of um, mistaken identity for pit bulls. There's a lot of dogs that you know that look like pit bulls and are not pit bulls, and it's not fair that pit bulls are targeted to begin with. But 
if you look at studies, there it, it's hard in some areas. Like there's so many. I spoke to. Um, I can't really say the source, but an organization that handles animal control for Shadigay, and so many pit bulls or animals that or dogs that look like pit bulls are released to this, this organization because they can't take the pressure and they they don't want to hide their dogs. Hiding there's, there are so many pit bulls in Shadigay, and hiding them causes is really actually dangerous. That's hiding your dog. The lack of socializing that dogs see, and you know when we when we overturn this law, we owners are going to have to really, really be strong and, and and learn to socialize their dog. Maybe take some training because unfortunately the law has it's it's just so restrictive that people have had to hide their dogs and and they haven't been able to socialize with other animals. So. As lovely as any any dog is, they need socialization. So this law is wrong oh, yeah. in, in forcing people to hide their dogs as well. Um, I do believe, though, that um, all in all, the pit bulls of Shadigay are out to exercise, and people just know how to work the system. They know how to, to go, uh, you know, when it's a little bit dark out, or you know, they they know how to, to kind of get their dogs out. But it's a horrible feeling to know that you have a lovely, loving animal, and you can't walk your dog to the daycare like you. I mean, you you never hit his dog. He's registered Murphy as a pit bull. For ten years, and the city has accepted the registration. Yet, as long as he's not caught and seen by police, who are their job is to enforce the law, he can get away with them, having Murphy. But if the police catch him, even though he has paid his registration and registered his dog as the breed that he is, his dog can be taken away and euthanized. And and that is wrong. I mean. The, Everything is wrong with this law, and studies show. If, if anybody wants, I'm sure people have looked up the law and have googled it. But you'll see that studies show that in in some areas, bite rates have gone up with this law. People's bars are down, and other breeds, other dogs, any dog can bite. And I'm sorry when people say, "Well, pit bulls have locked dogs." They don't have locked dogs. There's no such thing as locked dogs. They have a strong dog, Woo! and they are not the strongest dog. And Dobermans have, have are strong, and, and Shepherds are strong, and all kinds of, of dogs are strong. Shenzhou's are even strong. She's strong. Oh, I'm telling you. And it, and most of the bites occur with with children, and there's no reason for bites to occur with children. Why is your child unsupervised? And if you have any dog, any dog, a Shih Tzu, a Chihuahua, or a Pit Bull, and there's a child around, aren't you, aren't you watching? And and the owner of the the the, the parent of the child, aren't you watching? So it's all about ownership, and I really think that we can show uh, the mayor and the council that we are responsible as pet owners, whether we have Chihuahuas. Whether we have pit bulls, whether whether we have cats, we're all responsible. We can all be responsible, and people that are not responsible are the ones that need to be punished. And there's there's definitely alternatives to this terrible, terrible legislation. <laughs> 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 Les, les gens qui ont des pit bulls, ils les gardent euh, cachés. Ils les sortent la nuit pour, pour les promener. Euh, ils sont peut-être moins socialisés que n'importe quel autre chien parce que les gens, qu on, quand on a un pit bull et qu'on ne peut pas se promener avec, ben on ne peut pas aller au dépanneur avec, on euh, ne peut pas aller prendre une marche comme n'importe qui d'autre. Hein? Mais on sait que peu importe la race de, de chien, un chien, c'est un chien. Peu importe. C'est pas vrai qu'un pit bull a une mâchoire qui bat. Ça se peut pas, ça existe pas, c'est un mythe. Il y a des chiens encore qui ont des, qui ont des mâchoires, qui sont encore plus fortes que les pitbulls. Même que les pitbulls ne sont pas dans le top, il y en a qui sont pires. Hein? Mais par contre,
c'est là qu'on fait venir ici. Mais autant que n'importe quel autre chien, ça ne veut pas dire que parce qu'ils sont des chiens plus forts, qu'ils vont mordre, qu'ils vont attaquer. Hein? Est-ce que j'ai raison? Oui! Ça peut être un chou ça peut être un chapeau, ça peut être un pipo, ça peut être un danois. Peu importe dans la vie, un chien peut attaquer. La responsabilité, c'est le maître, c'est la personne en arrière de la lettre. Pourquoi il y a des enfants qui sont attaqués? Parce qu'il y a des maîtres irresponsables. Pourquoi qu'un enfant est laissé sans, sans, sans supervision devant un chien? Peu importe la race du chien. Un chihuahua avec un enfant, un bébé de 6 mois, ça peut faire du dommage. Autant qu'un pitbull avec un enfant de 10 ans. Autant qu'un rockwelder euh, avec un adulte. Peu importe la race, un chien c'est un chien. Il faut être responsable en tant que propriétaire de chien. My name is Kerry and I actually own a pit bull. I have four children and my baby is two years old and my dog is his shadow. If he goes somewhere, my baby goes with him and vice versa. The other day, my son was in the backyard. We were doing things in the backyard. Didn't notice the gate to our pool was open. And if it had not been for my dog, I don't know I would be telling this story to you today. He saved my son's life. It's uh, important to control your dogs and to train them properly, but the pit bull is not the problem. You are the problem. So fix you, not the dog. And I think that the Shadagay community has really come together. And, um, I'm really quite impressed. I've only been in Shadagay for three years. So I had no idea that this um, yeah, this law was in place. I was I was actually shocked when um, I read Hugh's story about his altercation with uh, with a certain police officer, and I found it very impressive. And I, I I was really shocked. This, this is not the community that I live in. No way. And when I when I researched it on the internet, I said, Oh my God, we actually live in a. I, I don't think I would have moved here if I knew that that law was. I don't have a people, but I don't want to live in a community where we have these types of laws in place. They're wrong, and they're they're really prejudicial. They're, it's, it's, it's like judging the color of somebody's skin. It's wrong. Uh, if we can just remember that we just recently passed a right that dogs have rights, just like us humans. Like, do we ban blondes here? Do we ban brunettes? Like, why would we ban a certain breed of dog? They have the same rights as humans now. They've just passed the law. So why not change the story? Okay, tell my story. <laughs> Salut tout le monde, écoutez, euh, moi ça fait 5 ans que j'ai mon chien. Mon chien est un bout terrier, c'est tout le est super gentil, jamais attaqué personne, je l'ai avec des enfants, des chiens, des chats, ça jamais pas. Je l'ai montré à jouer avec pas ses dents, à cacher ses dents quand elle monte ses dents. Puis, euh, là, là à peu près un mois, j'ai mangé une quête de 168 piastres par une policier qui m'a euh, interpellé. Il m'a dit que j'avais 24 heures pour me débarrasser de mon chien. 24 heures! Qui pouvait passer après 24 heures à tous les 24 heures par, pendant X nombre de temps pour vérifier si elle était là, pour pouvait rentrer chez nous sans mandat d'arrestation et dire qu'il prenne mon chien et passe à la destruction de mon chien. Je trouve ça insensé et inhumain de faire ça. C'est ridicule. Comme tout le monde dit, il n'y a pas de mauvais chien, il y a des mauvais maîtres, il y a des maîtres qui ne savent pas, qui, sont, qui ont des chiens qui sont plus forts qu'un chihuahua. Mais comme tout le monde dit, un chihuahua peut mordre, peut mordre autant qu'un bull terrier ou qu'un pitbull ou que whatever. Mon ami, le meilleur exemple, il habite à Québec, il n'est pas ici en ce moment. Il n'a pas peur de mon chien, il l'adore. Il joue avec, il donne des becs, il n'y a pas de problème. Mais il s'est fait mordre par un, 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 un boston terrier. 96 points de suture dans la face. 96! On peut dire que c'est dangereux. Un boston terrier, c'est un petit chien. Bolique. Puis moi, j'ai un, un chien, puis on m'arrête comme ça, puis il me donne 24 heures pour déménager, il faut que je casse un bail. C'est trop, ça. C'est de l'argent. C'est du temps. Et en ce moment, mon chien a bouc. J'ai pas le choix. Je peux pas payer pour un entrepôt. C'est ça mon histoire, puis j'espère qu'il va y avoir plus en plus de monde qui va appuyer cette cause, parce que c'est ridicule. C'est complètement ridicule. <rires> story and I hope that that I know there's many other stories like that and I'm, I'm hoping that 
very shortly. I, I'm hoping within the month that everybody will be able to walk proudly with their pit bull, as I say, pit bull, their pit bull hybrid, um, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, they all they have big heads. I mean, that's what I, I see them. I, I'm not. I don't know pit bull. I, I know dogs and animal behaviors. I know that they're there's no vicious animal. It's the other end of the lake. When I look at a pit bull, I see a beautiful animal, and, and I don't consider them pit bulls. I, I, they have similar features. They have, I'm looking at the pictures, they have big heads, but they're, and they're strong. But they're, you know, they're beautiful, beautiful animals. And they're the only pit bulls that I have met in my life have been the most angelic, well socialized animals. And I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of. I'm in animal rescue. I, I run a, believe it or not, I run a cat rescue. So we, <laughs> so we do, uh, we help dogs in emergency situations. So I, I, I have rescued many pit bulls and they have all been the sweetest, the sweetest animals. So it's just a terrible, it's a terrible law and I think that we, um, we are going to amend this law. I can't believe, I cannot believe how many people, well, you see, it seems to be quite a lot of that have showed up, but I, I cannot believe the petition and the overwhelming support that we've had uh, with this petition. It's just it's amazing. And um, I think that Saturday is going to serve as one of the examples. There's other municipalities that have changed the law. Many laws, many of these um, areas that have had uh, PSL, I've actually given up on them because it's so costly and they can't enforce them because all the dogs are in hiding. So what's the point of having uh, this legislation? These dogs are in hiding and um, the only thing they can do is shoot or threaten to shoot the ones that they see. So it's really asking for trouble. It lets people's guards down and it, it, think, it makes people think that other dogs are, are safe to be around when that's not true. Because any dog is dangerous if the owner is dangerous. If the owner does not do what he's supposed to do. Or if the owner abuses his dog. And, and I think that in Shadigay, we need to encourage that the dog owners, that dog owners are responsible and get rid of those abusers. Because there's abusers in every town and we don't need them in our town. And they do give animals a bad name. Hello, my name is Lisa. I am at Susan Crew Facebook. I personally know Hugh, who this, uh, this thing is, has all been started for. I'm not going to be redundant and say what we what we all know that dogs are are like people. They have emotions. They have rights, and it is the the person on the other end of the leash, like we're saying. Uh, what I would like to take the time to say is a huge thank you to Susan who started this ball rolling. She didn't even know Murphy. There are so many laws that exist in our city, in our province, in our nation that are outdated or that are outdust or that were created out of fear. And it is only through people like Susan and through all of you who have come out here today that we're going to change things. There are things that need to be changed. And it's so very few people that are willing to, to take a stand and to start a ball rolling that needs to be rolled. So I encourage all of you to find those laws that are unjust, not just for Murphy, for, for anything, and raise your voice like we're doing here. We can inspire change. So thank you, Susan. Thank you so much for taking us on. And thank you all for coming out here. It's just annoying to support. I appreciate it, but honestly, it, it, it really is the whole community that has rallied together because I can, I can make a petition and um, a few people can sign it and it won't go anywhere. You guys stood up to the plate. There's a lot of people here and I know that and everybody wants to uh, do what's right for the animals. So I appreciate the thanks, I really do. But I do realize this is a, a huge group effort and this is, this is Murphy spurred this on. This is for Murphy, but it's for all the other dogs, and it's not just the pit bulls. It's for all other dogs. It could be any race that's targeted. Um, as Caesar Milan um, says, I'm not a huge Caesar Milan fan, but as he has said, 
and it is true. You know, first it was the uh, the Doberman, and then it was the Rottweiler, and um, you know, next it could be the um, who knows? It could be the Chihuahua next. We don't know what it's going to be. God knows. So you know, we need to make the uh, onus off the breed and on to the owners and the other end of the leash. So and, uh, we're going to be ending up going in soon um, to meet the mayor and her council. So I'd really love it if um, there'd be a few people that maybe would be willing to take over and just, you know, do some chats and, and keep things going. Woo! Woo! Get some attention. Cameras are good, but we have to be at the back of the room. Okay. 3.2. Interdiction de race de chien. Avis de motion pour un règlement général modifiant le chapitre 14 du règlement pénal général G2000. Monsieur Pinard. Monsieur Pinard. Bonjour, Madame la mairesse et conseillers, conseillères. Euh, mon nom est Conrad Bayancourt, de la rue Laval. Euh, <coughs> avis de motion, l'interdiction de race de chien. Euh, C'est quoi ça? En fait, on va euh, amender, le, on va revoir la réglementation concernant le contrôle animalier, la, les, les, euh, notamment les, les chiens sur le territoire de la ville de Châteaulet, afin de l'actualiser, le rendre euh, plus euh, en phase avec la nouvelle, d'abord la nouvelle loi qui a été euh, votée par euh, l'Assemblée la, nationale concernant les, euh, les animaux qui, sont, qui, ont, qui ont un statut maintenant. Euh, euh, d'être vivant et non plus de meubles. Donc, il faut qu'on s'ajuste avec ce, ce, cette loi-là. Et ensuite, évidemment, ce, puis on va la regarder, comme je dis, on va, faire un, on va quand même avoir des consultations publiques là-dessus, pour faire en sorte qu'on responsabilise davantage les propriétaires de chiens, plutôt qu'on cible des espèces de chiens en particulier euh, sur le territoire. Et il faut bien comprendre qu'on veut, tout en préservant la sécurité des citoyens, euh, permettre aux gens euh, d'avoir euh, l'animal de compagnie qui leur sied. Et, mais tout ça, ça va passer évidemment à travers une quête d'information, des meilleures pratiques, euh, de ce qui se fait de plus récent en matière de réglementation euh, de l'agent canine. Et euh, ça va nous permettre aussi certainement d'ouvrir le débat sur d'autres euh, problèmes animalières qu'on a à Châteauguay, notamment ce qu'on dit depuis plusieurs années, le contrôle des champs. Alors, euh, ça va passer à travers tout ça. Faire en sorte, évidemment, qu'on responsabilise les propriétaires de chiens face à leur animal, mais également face aux autres citoyens, parce que euh, c'est une responsabilité. Euh, et, et donc, on doit euh, revoir tout ça dans son ensemble. Et faire en sorte que notre euh, réglementation va passer les prochaines années euh, en étant respectueuse de tous ces chiens. Personnellement, s'il si y a déjà eu un règlement pour... Euh, des femmes ou municipalités qui aient des euh, chiens pitbull. J'espère qu'aujourd'hui, on ne décidera pas de, de remettre ça, de, de dire, ben là, c'est correct, on va les, accepter les pitbulls. Moi, personnellement, là, j'aime me promener dans la ville, je prends des marches, je fais des... Euh, je m'en vais en bicycle, puis j'ai n'ai pas peur parce que je sais que les pitbulls sont défendus. Il y en a peut-être... Mais euh, <coughs> je ne les ai pas vus. Mais je ne voudrais pas qu'on change de règlement pour faire plaisir à un, à un groupe de personnes et puis que le, le reste de la, de la population de Châteauguay vive avec le, la peur qu'il y ait un pitbull qui nous saute dessus. M. Vaillancourt, ce qu'on dit, c'est qu'on va responsabiliser la réglementation, on va faire en sorte qu'on va responsabiliser les propriétaires de chiens en fonction des nouvelles informations qui vont nous être données, il y a des, il y a, la réglementation date de, de 25 ans. Il y a des choses qui se sont 
passé, il y a de l'information qui a été euh, mise à jour depuis le temps. Euh, on va regarder tout ça. Comme on a dit aussi, on va regarder les statistiques en matière de, de morsures de chien pour se donner une idée de, 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 de quel est le réel portrait de la situation, pas juste à Châteauguay, mais dans la grande région de Montréal. Et on va avoir des consultations publiques. Vous serez invité à venir euh, livrer votre avis. Pour l'instant, on a un avis de motion. C'est un processus. On entame le processus pour la révision de la réglementation. Donc, on va pouvoir regarder euh, comment on fait ça et comment on, on, on regarde et on adresse cette problématique-là euh, avec les réalités de 2015 et non pas de 1988. Donc, on aura une... Puis, on regardera ce que sera le consensus au moment où on aura passé à travers tout ça. Mais il faut qu'on fasse, qu fasse la révision, il faut qu'on se mette à jour et il faut qu'on cible aussi le problème. Le problème, ce sont les chiens dangereux, ce n'est pas la race de chiens, ce sont les chiens dangereux, les hauts comportements dangereux. Et donc, c'est ça qu'il faut qu'on adresse convenablement dans le règlement. Et c'est ça qu'on va regarder. On va, et, et, et soyez assurés que la sécurité des citoyens est au cœur aussi de nos préoccupations. Ben, c'est sûr qu'on peut demander à ceux qui ont des chiens euh, pitbull ou dangereux, là. Euh, il va falloir que, ta, 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 on va mettre des règlements. C'est sûr qu'il y en a qui ils vont suivre les règlements et ils prennent soin de leurs chiens, même si on sait qu'ils sont mauvais, là, mais ils les élèvent comme du monde. Mais par contre, il y a d'autres propriétaires qui se foutent de ça, là, puis euh, le, le chien il est là pour attaquer puis il ne veut rien savoir d'autre. Et c'est pour ça, M. Vaillancourt, qu'on va essayer de travailler aussi toute cette notion-là de responsabilisation des propriétaires plutôt que de cibler l'animal qui est bien souvent victime, plus souvent qu'autrement, euh, de, de, de la situation et du propriétaire qui, qui euh, aura certainement peut-être euh, vu à, à, à l'élever de façon à, à être plus agressif. Mais ce qu'on fait, c'est donc le comportement de l'animal, la responsabilisation des propriétaires, de faire en sorte qu'on sait qu'on a une réglementation qui sécurise les citoyens qui pourraient être mal à l'aise ou avoir des craintes par rapport aux chiens et par rapport, et donc qu'on qu qu voit tout ça, mais on va le regarder on a demandé à avoir de l'information on veut être, on veut en discuter, on veut que des experts viennent nous parler et, et donc on aura à ce moment-là une nouvelle réglementation qui va nous accompagner pour les prochaines années et qu'on ne sera pas tenté de changer à tout bout de champ pour répondre justement aux, aux aux aléas et, et, et des, des événements dans la municipalité, mais bien une, une, une réglementation qui soit euh, actuelle et qui soit en mesure de, de, de pallier à, aux situations, mais qui s'attaque non pas à la race du chien, mais à son comportement et qui responsabilise le propriétaire. Parce que, bien souvent, c'est là où on doit euh, avoir l'incentive, le, 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 c'est là qu'on doit avoir le, les gens qui sont qui ont des animaux, qui doivent être responsables de leurs animaux, qui doivent bien comprendre la portée. Puis il faut avoir fait du porte-à-porte -porte dans la ville de Châteauguay pour comprendre qu'il y a énormément de chiens à Châteauguay. Hein? Ouais. Quand on cogne aux portes, on le sait. Ça ouais. jette. Bon, fait que pour terminer, ben, on sait qu'il y a des enfants qui ont été mordus. Puis espérons que la... s'il y a une décision qui est, qui est prise, mm -hmm. ben, qu'elle soit pour l'ensemble des citoyens et non pour un groupe restreint. Non, comme je vous dis, il, il, il faudra voir est-ce que les morsures qui, quels sont les chiens qui mordent, qui mordent le plus? Quels sont les euh, Est-ce qu'on a des statistiques sur euh, justement et quel type quel type d'animal mord pas pas nécessairement quelle race d'animal mord? Oh oui. euh, et donc il faut je pense qu'il y a des choses qui doivent être démystifiées aussi. Il y a des mythes qui doivent être vus et ça je pense qu'il faut qu'on les qu'on qu regarde tout ça et qu'on ait les bonnes personnes pour venir nous donner les bonnes informations et nous aider à prendre les meilleures décisions possibles. Excellent. Merci, Merci. beaucoup. Bonjour, mon nom est Suzanne Macassi. Euh, J'espère qu que c'est correct que je vais parler en anglais. OK. I'd like to present the petition. Um, we are the ones that started the petition against the breed specific legislation. I do want to make it clear that we are focusing on responsible ownership. We do not want bites to occur. Um, we just want to show that there are many dogs. It, it is on the owner to be responsible. We've got packages for you with statistics and recent studies that show that breed-specific legislation 
um, sometimes actually increases the rates of bites and is not effective. And um, I'm gonna, we have over 7,000 signatures here for you. I will have Valerie speak, she will speak to you in French and I'll bring you the petition. You can just give it to Madame. Donc, c'est nous qui, en fait, c'est Suzanne qui a commencé la pétition concernant la législation qui existe concernant les chiens de race. En fait, aujourd'hui, on apporte la pétition. On est, on, on prend en fait la responsabilisation des propriétaires de chiens. Je me trouve petite. Et puis, ah, ben oui. Et puis, donc, c'est pour ça qu'on est ici aujourd'hui, justement, pour les, pour, pour qu'on puisse regarder non seulement la race, mais effectivement, les propriétaires de chiens, peu importe la race, euh, un les chien... Propriétaires ou... <rire> non, non, les propriétaires de chiens, peu importe la race du chien. <rire> Donc, euh, c'est pour ça qu'on apporte la pétition. Merci, merci beaucoup. Écoutez, euh, je, je, je l'avais mentionné euh, euh, par le passé, euh, pour qu'elles soient légales et, et recevables, les pétitions doivent... Euh, avoir une certaine forme et doivent être euh, évidemment on doit compter les gens de Châteauguay parce qu'on s'adresse ici au gouvernement de Châteauguay ceci dit euh, on respecte l'opinion on, on la prend et, et euh, on, on reçoit le message à travers cette pétition là qu'elle soit euh, ou non euh, dans le cadre euh, réglementaire qui nous permettrait de, de, de l'accepter la, on va de toute façon Madame Poirier va la regarder euh, ceci dit, on entend le message à travers la pétition et, comme je l'ai mentionné plus tôt à M. Vaillancourt, on a donc la ville motion qui nous permettra de, de, de revoir le, le, le règlement, le chapitre sur euh, les chiens, les races de chiens dans notre réglementation. Et à ce moment-là, on aura, donc, comme on le dit, un débat, on, une consultation publique. Et ce qu'on souhaite aussi, c'est d'avoir les experts qui seront là pour nous aider à cheminer dans, le, dans la prise de décision. Merci. C'est bien Merci apprécié. Merci beaucoup. changing, you know, putting the onus on the race. She she was really supportive in there. 
And uh, I really feel she wants to change the law. It's not just a matter of being forced to change the law with the pressure. I really feel she wants to change the law. So Excellent. we're really encouraged, and um, I will let Valerie speak. Woo! So yes, um, they will be revising the law, they will be looking into it, they will be talking about it, there will be some public um, seance, <laughs> if I can use the term, I don't know how to public meeting. Uh, and uh, in order to talk about this for those who want to go, you know, talk about it. Um, and But in the meantime, like Susan said, it's not confirmed, it's not in writing, it's not black on white. It hasn't been changed yet. They are going to, they are looking into it, they're going to talk to specialists about it. Um, we're very confident about this. But in the meantime, I mean, be aware and you never know who you're going to be, you know, facing on the street. So be as cautious as you've always been until we can actually scream yay because it's been written black on white. Uh, so until then. Did they give a timeline? Yeah. yeah. No. no. There's been a few, uh, there's been some leaks that, you know, it, it could take within a month. I, I mean, it's a law though. I, I, it's definitely on their priority list. So I do think we also have to stay on it in a respectful way, but we will be on them and pressuring them. Um, but I do think it's a priority. So, uh, you know, I would I would say, I mean, maybe a month is really not realistic, uh, but definitely I would say within the next few months. I mean, it, it shouldn't take that long. But they do have to study all the way. We gave them, like, huge files of statistics and studies showing that, you know, it's not effective and, and some alternatives. So I think that, I don't think it's going to take that long. Yeah. Anyways, if you need us, we're there. We're all right. Well, any we'll meeting, up. any, I'm here. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody. It's just been amazing for you. <laughs> I'll be announcing, I'll be giving updates as I receive them. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. And um, I will be planning the um, the victory march. Excellent. Okay, it'll be before the winter. Thank you, Susan. Okay, thank you. <laughs>